Hey y'all, so I thought I would just pop on and do a really quick jelly printing session. I had just finished um, doing a session here with um, my Art Mythos group and um, over on my school and we do these several times a week. It's our morning coffee times. And so um, I was going to do a little bit more printing on this Echo Diet paper and we talked about how this is rust and coffee, so, and um, I love these. Oh my goodness. So I thought I would do these, these small prints on this. So I'm using the gold bronze here and a little bit of quinacridone ozo gold. And I want to transfer this print right onto this just to get a really beautiful natural little yummy jelly print i'm thinking i haven't done this like this on this paper but i think it'll work just want these really beautiful little organic prints that i can use in my collages i'm working on a series oh my god look at this yes oh. That's what I was hoping for. Just like a little rusty, let me see if you can see it really good, little print there, see? So just a little bit of this quinacridone ozo gold and the background is so good because it kind of keeps the little rusty feel going, but it's bright with the gold. I really like that. And now this is like a little print that I would then use and start collaging around with some of the other kind of um, things I have over here. I need to make some more of this paper. I've been using it up. It's my uh, intuitive scripting, but then I rust and, rust and coffee dyed. Maybe this little piece right here is so good. Little script. Oh, look at that. A cutest. Well, I love these collages. Let me go ahead and glue this down. And then I'll add some more. I'm working with my handmade papers. You guys know I like the, the Yoohoo glue stick. So I'm doing some stuff with my handmade papers. So I'm doing these collages with the Echo Diet and the jelly prints. And then I'm actually working them into some vintage frames. Is that right? That's good. Oh my goodness, I love it. And um, I'll show you where I'm going with this. I have some of this stuff back here so you can kind of see. Because I know you guys have been interested in what I'm doing with my jelly prints and stuff, like how I collage and work with them. So here are some more handmade papers. I thought I would just pop on and use this time to kind of show you guys what I'm doing. Give you a few ideas. So this is handmade paper that I make. And um, so I've just put some extra coloration on. This is actually the black flash paints that I love. It's not all paint, some of it's pigment, but then I've taken and watered down some of this. Um, well, I thinned it out in ink and um, put this on here. And so this is a part of my handmade paper where I actually embedded fibers and uh, linen boarding and stuff into the paper. And um, here's a little bit of, these are some feathers that I got and I actually painted it. So I kind of have this idea that I'm doing, I don't know, kind of creating these collages. I'm just sort of showing you here, we're just playing around, but so you can get an idea. I'm kind of creating these collages with words. And then, I would um, 
probably put something like this on here, maybe um, a larger piece of paper because I would want more of the black to show around it. So if you can see what I'm doing here. Um, so it would be like maybe more, like say this would even be a larger, I don't think I have any larger pieces right now. Um, or maybe, I'm also playing with the idea of working on using these backgrounds here as well. So actually, ultimately, let's see how we want to do this. Sort of having it on a background that um, would look something like this, you know, where we can get... Because I love this staining. So for me, this is all a part of the collage, the whole piece, which has got the staining on it and then the paper and the, and we could even bridge it with something like this. So then putting more space between this top and the, the bottom part. And it doesn't look like a bib or something. You know, you guys, you know, I go on archaeological digs and... I do more exploration, not so much digs. I go and I explore a lot of very ancient sites. Um, my specialty is in iconography. I went to school for art, um, anthropology and archeology. span And so my specialty I found is in symbols. I really can go to an ancient site and just see a lot of symbols that just kind of hover below the surface. Like a lot of times you may not just see them. For some reason, they just pop out to me. So. Um, so I'm always loving the idea of recreating something that looks like my camera doesn't show it all. Something you just could have found somewhere, you know? And so like, to me, this is how I would maybe work with these elements. Um, so, so I'm just showing you, cause I know I get a lot of comments on like, what do you do with your jelly prints? Or um, I have another video I'm doing where I'm showing you how I'm collaging as well. So, you know, what do you do with your jelly prints? How do you collage with the things that you're using? So I thought I would do like, you know, just a quick segment of like how I would actually take these papers and just turn it into like a special little jelly printed collage piece. And, you know, really getting these papers to work for you um, and, this, and the natural staining that happens um, in nature is everything. So another possible thing would be, like I have some full sheets of the staining over here. So maybe something like this, that's yummy. And then with this over it, which is another piece of handmade paper that's stained like that. And then this is its natural form. And we have, look at, we have, this is um, linen or flax. So the, all these papers I made myself. And then maybe a little something like this on it. You know, here again, and maybe even layering it still on a background like this. I'm trying to get us so even see it all, my goodness. And then that might be an element, something like that. So um, let me make, I'll do this one more time. So you can see from start to finish, I, you know, I always keep what I already had on there because that that can transfer off nicely. So you might as well keep it. And I think what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to take a little bit of, um, so you guys can see exactly how I do these. <clears throat> They're just subtle meditations in a pattern, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, I work with a circle a lot. So. Let me just get a little bit of black on here. So I want to kind of do a circle within a circle like that. So I'm gonna let that. So what you do is you let that dry. So what I'll have. Oh, here's one of my little pea pods. I brought that over too. So I don't know what these things are. They fall off the trees out here. Oh, we're letting that dry, I'll show you. So maybe I would incorporate this into the collage as well. So I just paint those gold. 
and you know maybe something like that so you have something really organic and um really beautiful but just all natural too you know i just love this type of thing this is just my aesthetic 100 percent. it just looks like this was a piece of art that you could have found that was there you know like years ago and then the gold is is more shiny so obviously it wouldn't be that bright when you found it this is the back side of that same little pot and i love it my last fabric bundle that sold out i put it up on saturday it was gone sunday thank you guys so so much for loving my work i really appreciate it i I've, I've been putting um put some of the handmade paper in it that i get um painted gold and um so it's you know it's a lot of these kind of things that i love 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 working with so i share a lot of that stuff in the bundles as well so you guys can get bits and pieces and I don't know what tree this is. I think back east, we used to have a tree that, but it's different than these pods that I find. Um, and only certain trees out here do them. I don't know all the trees yet, so I'm not the one to really say what they are. But um, when I go on my walks, you know, I see things. I'm like, oh, I can use that in the art. I can paint that. Everything for me. You know, Louise Neville Nevelson, everything she got, she painted black. She then moved into gold. For me, everything I see, I want to paint gold especially in nature i don't know something about it okay so that that's all dried up nicely so let's go back and put some more quinacridone ozo gold down of course you can use any colors these are just my color palette i love i love the way this quinacridone gold works with the gold paint so then let's go ahead and get a layer on here and then we're going to use the gold paint again and we'll define the circle. So I just drip it on here. This is my technique. And then I take the back side of the paintbrush and I just go ahead and draw the circle. I just keep on moving that paint around. I get that circle looking the way I want. And there's, there's a bit of paint there, so it's gonna smush, which I love. Go ahead and put this down. Let me stand up. So you have to stand up to kind of get this where I want it on a page. I can see it. And then just press. Because I really like that paint to sort of smear out. Plus, I want to get a really good impression here. So we should have a nice print here. And I could just make these all day long. You can see I did this with the black paint and then a gold circle over it. So whatever your thing is, this is my thing. <laughs> but this is how I work with all the elements and work them back into my collage art pieces. Oh yeah, this is yummy. You never know what's gonna happen with the circles. So look at this one. This looks really good. And because the paint is still wet, what I'll normally do is I'll go ahead and work in it, even to find that circle a little bit more. Because then what it does is that because the paints are wet, I can move it outside of the space of that circle. See? So you can move it outside a bit and just kind of create this little subtle line around it. But it's just like this really wabi sabi little print. And then on my plate, I normally will etch it back in too so that when that dries, I have that line and that movement that I can then pull another print from. So I'll show you guys. So um, I love that. And then you can see some of the extra color coming off the plate that was already on there, sort of like that silvery blue. Oh, love it. So then I would obviously then collage on top of this, like um, I was showing you. And let me see. Hmm. Get another little piece of something here. Let's use this paper. I use this paper a lot too. This is that glass paper. So I'll show you another technique. This paper is, is pretty thin, so um, in order to keep it from sticking, 
on the jelly plate, you do want to work. You want to make sure that you have enough. Um, I don't understand why this paper is pinched, but I think it's pinched so that it folds more easily. I think this is used in a lot of the, uh, the ceremonies. Let's just see. Let's play with that idea. Let's play with the idea of making this like sort of a folded piece that then, so let's see, I wanted to fold it like that with this sort of opening. See the paper, can you see if I can show it to you good? There we go, see? Um, and then I think what I'll do is, let's just do a little swipe of color. I think I'm gonna do it across this way because I want to unite this panel. So let's just take it. Oh my god, that's good stuff. Yeah, get that. Let's see. I can't go that way. I have to come this way. I want to make it down a little further. Perfect. So there we swipe some of this color on there. I love this paint. I can't tell you. I got this in Australia. I wish I had gotten more. It's not expensive paint. I do not know. This is what the tube looks like. But it's like a carbon black paint. It's an acrylic, but I know that it must be carbon in this because that stuff is just incredibly good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a gold circle on here. That way you guys can see how I just use just this jelly printing, really simplistic. And I think what I would do is then I would just use this whole element as a collage piece, like maybe on top of another piece like this, you see? So just finding all the right papers. And even in my, um, my fabric bundles, I've been putting a lot of the papers I use too. So I really kind of call them fabric. I don't know, I've been struggling with that because really they're, ephemera as well. It's like papers and things that I use and found stuff. That's cool. Okay, so I'm gonna just like a really wild circle and a lot of movement in it. And um which way do I wanna put this on here? I think I want to do it like that. So let's go ahead and put this circle right down over top. And that line, that piece of paper, the break in the paper just becomes a bridge just for the aesthetics of it, not, you know, and it could be usable. Oh, this is good. Wow. Look how that gold reacted. What made it react like that? I love it. Okay, let me show you. See how it kind of oxidized? It's gotta be the carbon in this black paint. See how that oxidized right there? The gold oxidized over top of that um, black. Ah, oh, isn't that yummy? That's a beautiful little print. <laughs> you guys know me. Um, the crazy lady with the jelly printing and I just love when it does stuff like this. To me, this is what makes jelly printing so special because it's just like a little mono print that just, you can create these one-off really special little prints. So something like that. And then here again, you know, this element could be put in, I wouldn't put as much of it, maybe just a little piece of it. Um, so I can keep on working on that obviously, but I just wanted to show you guys how I do it, how I work on various substrates that to me are what makes the print sing. So hopefully one of the walkaways with this video is that, you know, if the paper that you print onto is just as important as the paint and the techniques and the stencil and all that, you know, I see so much jelly printing just being done on like, just on white paper or copier paper or whatever. It's just so much more to this this process into this medium. It's just a little jelly plate. But what you can do with this is just incredible. So I encourage you just to get just all different kinds of papers. And I think you've been following my channel for a while. So many of you got on the onion skin from following me. Um, you know, a lot of vintage papers that I do in halls. Um, in my art mythos 
which is over on my studio school, the Teachable link that I have on um, with the videos. And a lot of you guys have gone over there and I have a free course over there on how to create photo flat lays while you're traveling. It's fun. I did it with um, Venice. So when I was in Venice, so if you guys just want to even just see me fooling around in Venice and buying stuff and making things, uh, and I do have an instructional piece with it saying this is how I do and blah, blah, blah. Um, hit the link for that because that course is free and you can kind of poke around over there and see. But we have art mythos over there. And I tell you, we've been doing so much. I do a lot of this kind of technique and jelly printing and all the kind of mixed media and sort of showing how I work. But it's like pushing the limits, push the materials that you're using. And as we're talking, see how this is really oxidizing even more, look at that. You know, it's just oxidized. So that gold has a little green behind it. Oh, it looks so good. I'm thinking it's the paint, but it could be the paper that it's also connecting with. Oh, I'll be working more on this one to see why it why it's doing it. I love it though. I'm thinking it's the black. Because see on here, you can sort of see the black paint still laying there, right across there. And that's where I'm getting some of the oxidizing, but I'm getting it down here too. But we'll see. We're going to figure it out. But in the meantime, start just, you know, if you're not already, let me be the one who encourages you to just use different kinds of papers and don't try to get so complex. Keep your printing simple, like find some elements like I'm showing you here and keep them simplistic. Work with a lot of different backgrounds and papers and interesting surfaces to see what you walk away with. I mean, this is probably like, this is Jelly Printing 101. I mean, how simple can you get? But it's knowing the paints, knowing what your iconography is, using different papers, putting and combining them together in such ways that they really are, create these sweet one-off monoprints. All right. So um, until later, I have much, much more coming. I have a, a session where I'm actually using some of the tissue paper collages in it. If you haven't already seen it, you'll see it, whichever way, whichever order these are going up in. I just don't know. I'm just making a lot of videos for you guys over here. Just, you know, some quick tutorials, quick, you know, these are like snapshots into my mind um, and how I work with not only jelly printing, but mixed media, collaging, etc. So if you like these kind of videos, first time coming into my channel, please hit the like button and also subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit that bell because then you won't necessarily see these videos just because you subscribe. All right, everyone, take care. Thanks again. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.